kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 4 of my video series on Bluetooth programming using Android Studio. Ok guys so in this video I am going to show you how to discover how to uh, do the programming for the Bluetooth for uh, discovering the smartphone using Bluetooth. Ok so let's get started. So. Uh, whenever the user clicks on the scan button so the device will uh, search for the, the nearby place uh, for the nearby devices and if the devices are found so they will be displayed inside a uh, list view okay so let's get started so let me change the text of from off to let's say scan okay and instead of this discover so let's go to our main activity dot java and in here just have public void discovered devices all right so in this method we are going to write the code for the discovery of the bluetooth devices so for that we already have bluetooth adapter so we will just say bluetooth adapter dot star discovery Alright, it's very simple. So after that, we will uh, use the broadcast receiver to disc. Uh, I mean to discover the devices. So whenever a new device is found, so it will be added to the list view automatically. So for that, what we can do here. So let's uh override the method on start okay so whenever the uh, the application is started so the on start method will be called so in here we need to have an intent filter so new intent filter and inside that we can say bluetooth device dot action found okay and we will register the receiver using that so here in case of this we can say broadcast receiver and intent filter all right so we will class the uh, we will write the code for our create or we will create the broadcast receiver so we can say broadcast receiver broadcast receiver equals to new broadcast receiver and in uh, inside our own receive method what we are going to do is we are going to first of all get the action so we can say string action equals to intent dot get action okay so after that we will check if the bluetooth device dot action found dot equals action all right so in here we can say blue to device device equals to intent dot get parcelable extra and inside that we can say bluetooth device dot extra device all right and finally we will add it to the array list so first of all let's create the we since we already have initialized our array list object so we can say array list sorry equals to new array list all right and after that we will add it so we can say array list dot add and we will can say device dot get name so we will display the, the name of the device and finally we can array adapter dot notify data set change okay since we did not initialize our array adapter okay so we need to have this array adapter so inside our own create method what we can say array adapter equals to new array adapter get application context android dot r dot near dot simple list item one and so we can send this array list 
Alright, alright, and finally we can see element dot set adapter, and we will set the array adapter to the list view. Alright, guys. So after that, we will run the application, but it will not work. So let me check. Let me open the side sync application. Yes, let me connect it. alright so if we click on scan button so you will not be able to see anything okay because yes we did not set the on click method so in here let's say on click and discover devices and let's now run the application but also this time this application will not work and it will not display anything okay there you go so now if i click on scan button so you will not see anything mm -hmm. this is because we have not set the user permission for the location so the location permission is uh, necessary in case of bluetooth so go to your android manifest and here add uses permission access find location all right so now let's run our application and let's see the, this time if it works or not okay so let's wait and now our application is running now if i click on scan button okay so now our since our bluetooth is switched off so you need to manually first of all switch on the bluetooth okay and now let's click on scan button okay let me run the application again okay so now the application is not displaying let me see what is the problem let me check if we have the user permissions inside our application let's click on my blue and no permission allowed yes so now we need to set the permission and they did when we run this time the application will run successfully okay so if i click on scan button so you can see that this is the devices which are available right now okay guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye